Hey, <laughs> what up, guys? It's Grim. Back to Scarms. I think I got that Alakir guy this time. <laughs> anyway, hey, what's up? How you doing, guys? Uh, last time on the Scarms, we... What did we do? We got a tree. We... Well, we were supposed to revive a tree, but then we didn't. We just got a new one instead. Whatever. Then we ran into this lady. Emily, she's obnoxious. Onward we march for Debella's glory. Extremely so. Anyway, we were doing something before, and we were gonna find out what she's all about because she's an interesting NPCs. NPC. What do you think of werewolves? I don't really know much about werewolves, other than the fact that they're horrible abominations. Whatever, you're horrible abomination. The companions do a lot of good deeds, so I guess it evens out. I guess. What do you mean, horrible abomination? Did I really call him that? Yeah! Oh, it sounds much meaner coming out of your mouth. Well, I should probably yeah. apologize. You should! As to why I said it, well, it's really just all the hair. What? Hair is good when it's on your head, but anywhere else in it's Debella's bane. What? 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 <laughs> what? Really? So you're against pubes, and okay, um, is that really it? Oh, okay, whatever. Uh, anyway, I guess that wasn't a mission. She just wanted to talk about body hair and how she doesn't like it. Uh, all right, let's go to Solitude. But Grim, why are you going to Solitude, you may be asking. Well, I don't know. I think uh, this is how you start a mission. I don't know. As high priest of the nine divines. Yeah, thanks, bro. Um, I didn't look up this mission for, for this. Uh, I did it on another character, and I think... I think this is how I'm you get a start. Yeah, what? Fucking NPCs. What? I hate them. Just get to this bard's college and then supposedly obnoxious Amelie is supposed to say stuff at us. That's how I think it gets started anyway. Alright, buckle in. Time for hours of dialogue. Onward we march for the Bella's glory. R right. Is, is, oh, do I have to talk to you? You, you seem to appreciate nature. Oh, yes. The water, the animals, the trees. All clay which Debella molds into indelible art, and at the heart of every explorer is an admirer of that beauty. Neat! I'm not saying nature is nice, it's just not important as you think. What can be more important than tribute to the gods? Why worship them in dusty halls when we can come to these cathedrals of nature? You know we're not in that cave, so whatever. We have to shout it from the tabletops, then the rooftops, then the mountaintops, every top, bottom, and middle. so obnoxious. I'm shouting all the time. Are you? I am, actually. You set me up this. You set me up, bitch! You totally did! You had that coming! I could not resist, and I fucked up your eyeballs, too. Adventure is waiting just around the corner. Right. Corner, all of them. What skills do you possess as an adventurer? Ma and Pa fought for the Empire during the Great War. Although, I don't see what's so great about it. I'm sure it's over my head. They're the ones who taught me everything I know. About battle, that is. It's not like they had to teach me about exploring. That I taught myself. Although, growing up in the Reach helped. First thing you learn is how to deal with heights. After that, dwarven ruins are a cinch. Really? Why don't you join the military? The barracks have charm, but I want fresh air and blue skies and forests that are woolier than a mammoth. Although I guess the barracks is kind of like a forest. There's a lot of wood and bugs and things. We used to call it termites reach. Really? Hmm, right. that's interesting. <laughs> okay, you did not set that one up. I just felt like doing it. Chowington, high five, buddy. Okay, chest bump. There we go. Hey, more talking! Uh, do you, do you have explore caves? Of course. What do you think all this is? It's more valuable than any gold coin. Now, if I find a gold coin, and I do find them often, bags of them, in fact, I deliver it straight to the donation bowl. Ah, oh, that is foolish. We even have a system. For every ten gold pieces, seven goes to the temple, one goes toward food and shelter, and one goes to alms for the poor. Uh, where does the other one go? <laughs> I have my own system. For every ten gold, ten goes to beer. I get it. If you spend it that way, you'd have nothing but beer. You're strange. Yeah, no shit. That's the joke. Oh, my God. Strange girl, he said. Then I became one of the Bella's soldiers. Now they just call me devoted. So do you bang people all the time since you're, like, down with the Bella and stuff? Play the loot! You would? I mean, of course you would. Just give me a moment. I command it! Play your loot! I like the subtitle there, it's just parentheses loot. Hey, bards, are you dancing, Trollington? I could have swore you were dancing. Oh god, that's another NPC. Oh man, we have two other um, interesting NPCs around here. Stop it! Can I help you? Uh, stop playing your loot, I'm done with that. Uh, here. Uh, uh, wait, can- It will be my pleasure. Oh, can you switch up your tunes? Is that what's going on? What the fuck, Trollington? Okay, are we done? Do we need companions? Wait, we're not companions. Okay. Divines bless us with their beauty. I figured out a way to make you stop doing that. <laughs> Up top, Trollington. Are we gonna do anything today, Trollington? I'm asking you like you're gonna respond to me. How you doing, pal? Huh? What's up? You gonna come at me, bitch? No? Okay, fine. Hey, are we gonna Can do we something? Mm, no. 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 All right. Let's leave. Maybe you just have to be outside the toggle this. Fuck, I really should've looked this up beforehand. I always say, when in doubt, follow the nerve route. Because the loudest route is the best route. I don't get it. Um, okay, 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 okay. Guide us. I think we need to find a man. Uh, I, I do think he's in here. Okay, let's find a guy. 
worst fucking planned episode ever, yeah, I swear. Look at you. If only everyone hey. like you. Uh, okay, uh, uh, right. The only reason I'm so Shut up, Inge. Yeah, you are old. Quit talking. Oh my god, I'm so tired of hearing you talk. Okay, I'm going to find oh, this shit. man. One second. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> shit. I wonder if this is gonna work. I'm gonna try something really dumb. I'm gonna try something really what dumb. Is it? I need you to wear this pot on your head, buddy. <laughs> get back, get back, get back here. Well, if it isn't the Slayer of the Glenmoral Witches, how can I assist you, companion? I need you to stand there with a pot on your head. Ah, it's not gonna work. Damn it. Alright, fine, fine. I'm gonna be like a fucking ninja about this. I wonder if my companion will get pissed at me if I do this. Okay, everybody move. I'm hiding in the bushes. Ah! Fucking assassin! Hey, do you, you see anything? Just waiting just around the corner. Which corner? All of them. Uh, right. Still no mission, huh? Okay, whatever, whatever. Divines, bless us with their view. God, I'm so dumb! I should have known to go to the Temple of Debella. That's totally how you start it. Hello! Hey, you, so Debella good. person yes. that talks about Debella all the time. Are you still talking? You, you ever think about you. becoming a priestess? No, never. Really? I couldn't spend my days in a dusty old temple. There's one. The sisters don't even th speak to their families. There's one right here. As the youngest um, of eight children, I find that inexcusable. Um. As the niece of um, twelve aunts man, and this uncles, is awkward. and the proud relative of twenty-four cousins, I say shame on them. Holy shit! What's with the family? It would be larger, but some of them are in Sovngarde. I think that's south of Helgen. I'm not sure. No, it's actually east Speaking of Riften. Speaking of family, I just remembered something. What? Yes, I think tomorrow is my cousin's sister's fiance's birthday. Holy fuck! Is my sister's fiance's cousin. I don't know. Well, it's somebody's birthday, and I need to get them a gift. Oh shit, man! Well, go! Wait, what? Hmm. I suggest mud crab chitin or some raw meat. Oh no, that's exactly the kind of thing we don't want to get. What are you he talking can't about? Let my parents know I'm an adventurer. What's wrong with being an adventurer? Well, as the youngest of eight children, the only way Ma and Pa would let me out of the house. As if I stayed clear of danger. That usually means staying inside. No place for a soldier of Debella. Mm. Although granted, back then I was just a kid with a pair of adventure boots and Pa's old war sword. But now it's too late. I've been knighted by beauty. There's no turning back. Turn me around and I'll run backwards. Right, right. So, oh, uh, you know, you should probably just tell them the truth. They probably won't care. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think my Pa's heart can take it. The real problem is finding something they haven't heard. Last time I picked some obscure poem from about giants, and they already knew the words. They scolded me for trying to pass it off as my own. I wonder if it's possible to compose something of my own. IMPOSSIBLE! I mean, how hard could it be? Debella would be writing most of it anyway. That's weird. Okay, uh, alright, well, let's go to the board's college! To the college, then. All hands on deck. Cast the reading nets. Let no good idea swim away. Right. First brother. <laughs> oh, get used to that, because every time you say something obnoxiously optimistic, you're getting it. Let's go back to the college. Okay, back at the virus college. I'm thinking a poem would be the best gift, because if you just make it confusing enough, people will be too scared to judge it. <laughs> That's a good plan, actually. That's not bad. I'm Is not this mad the at this library? Huh? There weren't many books. Is that a health potion in the bookcase? Is I'm it? confused. The Bard at the I think at it is. Excuse it. me, my lady, but I saw you standing there, and I was wondering if you could offer an opinion on the state of my masterpiece. This is a vampire. The other bards treat me with contempt because I have ruined language itself. Why are you Anything ruining language? I, you, I will. All Back other off, words may only sour notes, but your ears are still fresh. Pleasure's all mine. Uh, thank you. I think. Are you a student here at the college? A student? I'm offended you think anyone would be considered my peer, let alone my superior. The Nord may not be able to form a coherent sentence without the aid of carefully prepared notes, but my tongue is forged in silver. My poetry has analogies wrapped inside metaphors, sewn together in a robe of perfect rhetoric. You are It is douche. a cipher of text where a single line will lead you down a dozen separate paths to enlightenment, depending on how you interpret it. You are a total That's douche. nice. Can we kill I him? I don't think I'm the right audience for that. Can you introduce me to your Nord friend? He sounds like he'd be a lot of help. <laughs> the Nord? You can't be serious. I just told you he was an ignoramus. He will not inspire you. These books, these bards, and this college will not inspire you. Nor will the gods. 
If you wish to make great art, then you must cling to my coattails and clutch at the leftovers I toss away. Oh my god, you were um, still talking. Okay. My name's Amelie. Just tell me where to grab on. <laughs> okay. Your name is unnecessary. I don't wish to humanize there my servants. There we go. Nah, your much lord, better. And you are the girl who shines my boots. Certainly. Uh, okay. But how will shining my lord's boots help me make art? Are you sure you don't want to introduce me to your friend? <laughs> are you questioning my methods? It just will. But if you love that Nord so much, bring him here. And I will prove my superiority once and for all. What the fuck is he talking right about, away, this lord. Nord? Get out the clairvoyance tomes. Put on your courier boots. We have a person to find. Oh my god, really? Okay, we have some direction. Now to find this Nord he keeps talking about. Shouldn't be too hard. How many Nords could there be in Skyrim? Uh, a lot. But yeah. don't lose heart, adventurer. We'll just have to talk to them all. That is retarded. Okay, um, okay. I don't see how any of this will help you become a better bard. It's not all that clear to me either. But I'm not a master bard like my lord is. But I think watching an artistic duel would be rather inspiring. What? Hold on. I are they gonna have rap I battle? I challenged my aunt to a drinking contest, and that's how I learned how to behave like an adult. So this could work too. Holy shit, I didn't realize that we're gonna have a rap battle. This sounds fucking Maybe awesome! Quick, I've got poems to write. Yeah, whatever, bitch. Okay, I am officially feeling this mission now. Okay, Bard Beast Beauties. We need to go to Dragon Bridge! Oh man, this is gonna be dope! This is gonna be like Epic Rap Battles of Skyrim! Yeah! Oh, I'm feeling this! So a lizard walks into bar and is like, I'm looking for a Nord! That's not a joke. You That's there. what's happening. Eat my request. It'll only take a moment of your time. For what I ask, I ask plain. If you're a bard, for your own sake, do not sing. For your voice cannot compare to mine. Hello, I'm Lizard King! This is how you properly talk to people, you douchebag! There's nothing special about your voice! Because you have yet to hear me sing. Once you do... My voice will echo in your mind to the distraction of all other thoughts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whatever. I take it you're the bard! That's right. Although I wasn't always a handsome bard, I used to be a handsome adventurer. Then arrow to the knee! And before that, I was just handsome. Unfortunately, my adventuring days came to an end after I nearly lost my life in a scuffle with a group of bandits known as the Silver Hand. Wait. After that, I figured it wasn't worth it. Sure, I was a damn good fighter. The best. But I was damn near good at everything else, too. I owed it to this world to keep me alive. I can't even begin to imagine what sort of Diedrich Nightmare Skyrim would be if I didn't exist. Y you, uh, think quite highly of yourself. So, the Silver Hand is after you? Uh, is the Silver Hand after you, unless you're a werewolf? It happened in an inn. Nothing like this one, where I met this lovely tavern wench. A bit chubby, but on the voluptuous side of fat. I could have charmed and cajoled her, but I've always been the type to show rather than tell. You seem so you're telling me a lot! how her previous lovers had failed her. Unfortunately, my favorite thrusts were such that she accused me of turning into a beast during the height of my passion. Literally. Okay, so you are a werewolf. To be specific, she said I was a werewolf. When rumors spread around of my transformation, I became a target of the Silver Hand. That wench made the coffin maker a lot of money that day, with all the men I was now forced to kill. I'm beginning to think the two were kin. Right, so... Uh, I, I don't care for any of these responses. Uh, yeah, I finished the Silverhand, dude. Then you saved me the trouble, and them the humiliation. Against the likes of you, I'm assuming they at least managed to put up a fight. Not really, no. While their woman must lament the fact that I wasn't there to ravage them, it's probably better this way. The tavern wench, you see, did not lie. That's I do awkward. indeed have a problem with controlling my transformations, but only when I lie with a woman. That's really awkward. Uh, what do you think that is? It used to be a problem, but now that I hunt for flesh instead of blood, her son seems to have altered the nature of my curse. Mm. In any case, I wonder if you managed to kill a troublesome little Breton man amongst those silver hand. Uh, who is this Breton? He's an old acquaintance of mine. Joined up with wolf hunters just so he could have a chance to kill me. <laughs> As if I could be killed. You could try fighting me, I could do fact, it. the little carrot licker's been trying to kill yeah, me for more than a dozen years now. Back when my balls had more fur than his chin. <laughs> so, uh, oh, oh, so we need to have you do a rap battle. So how did this squirrel, oh my god, we were, okay, fine. You'll have to ask him. I haven't the faintest idea. Probably fell in love with me or something, seeing as I have that effect on women and men. All I know is, wherever I go, he manages to show up. Yeah, he wants to have a rap battle with you, dude. How do I get you to do that? What sort of pedigree do you come from? The humblest of births, but someday, the most glorious of ends. That is if someone like myself is even capable of dying. 
I'm not entirely sure. God, both these guys are douchebags. Yet I am indeed a far cry from the life my mother sought to raise me in when she was but a handmaiden working in Dragon's Reach. In my childhood, I grew up around nobles, thanes, and highborn lords, sworn to the servant's oath to perform one's duty and to go unnoticed. Yeah, right, whatever. I'm sorry that note. Indeed. Only I can think of nothing more dreadful than going unnoticed. You see, I've always longed for attention, yearned for it, craved it. And there is no purer attention, no higher appraisal of one's worth than the giving of applause. That's what I played for. The last pluck of a lute string and the faint echo of silence before the crowd roars in appreciation. I played for both the silence and the roar, the anticipation and the climax. The moments that seem to go on forever, and yet are never long enough. So you play for the applause, applause, applause. I'm quoting Lady Gaga, that's... That's pretty bad. Uh, make two voices! No, no. Okay, uh, do the threaten, damn it! Bare knuckles, knives, bows. Rap battle him! We fought in the snow. In caves. Oh my god, I'm fucking bored. Bored, bored. Yeah, you guys fought a lot. Oh my god. So, my friend is coming here to deliver a challenge from said Breton. Funny. She doesn't look like his usual squire. Has he hired on more minions to tilt the duels in his favor? No, she's just dumb and he tricked her into doing it. However, it was a cardinal mistake to send a lady so fetching. No doubt she's already in love with me. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Oh, oh, you're... Yeah, right, of course. But take this challenge and win, and she will be yours for certain. I suppose it would be unfair for me not to live up to her expectations. Little does she know, I will undoubtedly surpass her. Well, quit fucking talking and do it, man. Very well. Take me to the Breton. I don't even have to prepare. Whatever he wants to do it with, swords, magic, dinnerware, I'll be ready. Okay, you'll fuck! Have Let's no have this fucking rap battle already. Jesus! Hey, uh, by the way, this guy may want to bang you afterwards. Um... My bad, and he may turn into a werewolf while in the act, so you have been warned. Let's go back to the Ports College. 